This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, my model looks interlaced. How can I fix this? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I have the rifle model here loaded in. And as I rotate around this model, you're going to see it's being displayed currently in this interlaced view. So if I come over here and say activate solo or even turn on my polyframes, you can see that the model is still being displayed in this interlaced fashion. So what is happening here and how can I return my model back to an uninterlaced view? So this interlaced view you are seeing is because you have selected subtools when using the Gizmo 3D Transpose All Selected Subtools option. So if your model is in edit mode and you come to the top here and activate move, scale, or rotate, this is going to turn on the Gizmo 3D. Now next to the lock icon here, there is another button and this one is labeled Transpose All Selected Subtools. So if you click this option here, this will now put you in transpose all selected subtools mode. And this will allow you to transpose multiple subtools in your scene. Now, when you're using this ability, you have the option to select and unselect subtools. And the unselected subtools will appear in this interlaced view. So if your model or parts of your model are being viewed in this interlaced mode, just activate the Gizmo 3D. And then next to the lock icon here, turn on the transpose all selected subtools option. Then with this active, if you come to the side of your model here and hold down control and shift, and then drag a selection box out and then release, this will now clear the subtool selection. And now you'll get your model back to that non interlaced view. So now you can come through and move all your selected subtools. Now, if you want to only have one subtool be affected, if you just hold down control and shift with this transpose all selected subtools option active, and then you simply click on a subtool in your scene, you're going to see that it's going to apply that interlaced area to the other subtools in your scene. And now you're only going to have one subtool selected. So this interlaced effect will be displayed on the subtools that will not be selected when using the transpose all selected subtools option. Now, if you just hold down control and shift and then say click on another subtool, you can come through and start unselecting different subtools on your model by just holding control and shift and clicking. If you want to invert the selection, just simply hold control and shift and click off on a blank part of the canvas and this will invert the selected subtools. And then to clear the selection, just hold control and shift and drag out a box on a blank part of the canvas and that will clear the selected subtools. So if your model is appearing interlaced, it's because you have activated the transpose all selected subtools option here and then selected or unselected subtools using the control plus shift functionality. So you just want to make sure you clear that off and then disable the transpose all selected subtools option. Then if you go back to draw mode or move scale and rotate using the Gizmo 3D, now your entire mesh should now have that interlaced functionality cleared off and you can now get back to sculpting. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.